uh, hyena human cases happened in, in South Luangwa in Zambia and uh, uh, there was a hyena that killed uh, I think it was about six or seven people uh, before it was shot but it turned out she was very very old very big but uh, it, it was a lot of people were convinced that it was actually uh, a pet hyena one of the bad witches so good witches don't have hyenas uh, to ride around on only bad ones the ones who practice maloi or umtagati black magic so uh, that's where a hyena has quite an important role to play or has played an important role in 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 traditional folklore now I know I've told this story before, but some of you might not have heard it. So it's not very nice, or it's a bit of a naughty story, and it is about a hyena in southern Tanzania. Now, during the colonial era, they were forming some of the game reserves that now make up the national parks in southern Tanzania. And uh, of course, things were done quite differently then, and they were forcibly removing uh, some local villages, and the villages just point blank refused to leave and uh, the state vet and the head game warden got together and uh, after maybe one too many apple juices they uh, came up uh, devised a plan to move the people out of the area around what is now Ruhaha National Park and uh, they darted a hyena and well, speaking of Leo, I've got some, as I said, it's not so good news. It seems like, or at least one of those male lines has crossed uh, into Buffalo's Hook, but uh, James and Herbie are on the tracks. There were two females and one male, so maybe they've split, and uh, hopefully Bushwalk has some success with those lines. We're just doing a little meander down through um, from uh, Tanzania and the naughty game warden and the naughty vet. So if those of you might have missed the beginning, basically, uh, things were very different during colonial times and they were trying to uh, get villages to move out of what is now Ruahaha National Park and the villages were refusing to move. So I think after lots of apple juice, they came up with a plan. Now, as I said, in well, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, hyenas are very closely associated with, with dark witchcraft and murder and are said to have perpetrated murders for the witches so you could pay a witch to hire uh, to hire a witch to to kill someone and she was said to use a hyena to do it so the game the game warden and the state vet as i said after probably sitting around a campfire drinking a few too many apple juices came up with a very naughty plan uh, to get the the villagers to move out of the great ruhaha valley and what they did is they found a hyena, they darted it, they then put a pair of khaki shorts on it and then let it go very close to the villagers that they wanted to move. And uh, the villagers took one look at a hyena wearing khaki shorts, were convinced that there was some evil afoot, black magic was on the rise, they need to get the heck out of there. So they all moved. And, and that's now where Ruhaha National Park is now.